are going to venture to North Carolina, where I'm going to introduce our lucky listeners who are unfamiliar to Mark Robinson. Mark Robinson is the lieutenant governor of North Carolina. He is currently also the Republican candidate for governor. Um, He would be the first black man elected to this seat if he wins. He was in the news last Thursday because first news broke that North Carolina Republicans were asking him to to get out. It was the last day for him to drop out of this race. Um, And the reason that they were doing this is that a story was about to break, and indeed did break on CNN, that had old comments that he had posted on a porn site that were very offensive. He referred to himself as a black Nazi. Um, He said that if he had been able, it's not funny, if he had been able to be in the KKK, um, what he as a Klan member would have called Martin Luther King Jr. He talked about how he liked to creep on little girl, like on, on high school students. Um, you know, this is, I, I will, anyway, um, understandably, you know, people were kind of like, were, were, were offended by this and pushed him to drop out. But I think what's really important is that this person had previously cast out on the number of people who died in the Holocaust, had said that the movie Black Panther was a Jewish plot. Um, had said a number of other anti-Semitic things. And all of that was enough to not only get him Trump's endorsement, but to have Trump say, actually, he's better than Martin Luther King Jr. Why MLK keeps coming up in this, I don't know. I am so sorry to the King family for the way in which his name has been uh, uh, dragged into this. Um, But my point is, like, the reason that, that now you have people like I think it was Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin who came out and said, oh, I'm taking back my endorsement. The reason that you have people now saying, oh, oh, I couldn't possibly support Mark Robinson is not because they're so offended that he would call himself a black Nazi. In my opinion, denying the Holocaust is is worse than calling yourself a Nazi, although obviously a person who does either of those things should not be governor of a state. Um the reason that they're saying it now is that they think he's going to lose, right? Because he's polling like 11, 12 points behind his opponent, um, who ironically, if elected, would be the first Jewish person to be governor of North Carolina. Earlier that week, that opponent, Josh Stein, had said, I'm not debating this person. He does not deserve a platform. This is an extremist and his views are harmful and we shouldn't be platforming them. And whether or not you think that that's how to deal with people with extreme views, like whether you think the best way to defeat them is not to platform them or to debate them. Um, my point is that his views have been known. It's, it's been known that this person is an, you know, has used extremist, inflammatory, dangerous rhetoric long before last Thursday. So I will put a piece that I wrote about this um, in the show notes so you can read more of my ranting on how the people... <laughs> who are now like Mark Robinson, like they don't care about anti-Semitism. They don't care about the racism. They don't care about the really disturbing comments about his relationships to girls and women. Um, If he were up 12 points and this news broke, like I I don't think that they would mind. Uh, You know, all of this was aside from the, aside from the comments on the nude Africa site, all of this has been out there. I think maybe for legal purposes, we have to say that, that he is denied being the person who to have done those, those made those comments. Um, though the, the, the CNN, I think it was CNN investigation, um, is quite, quite good at attempting to piece together and, and assert that this would be him. Um, what, what jumps out to me really, I, I remember in the headlines, the headlines struggling to deal with this in part because, you know, maybe it's naive, but there was a time when just having a politician having posted comments on a porn website would have been enough to maybe question their candidacy. And here, like, that's not the issue. It's the fact that he's talking about being a Nazi. And, you know, like the, the porn part of it is almost the least offensive part of this. Whether there should be anything offensive about that, that's another matter. But like, it's just like the the lack of or the, the end of innocence in American politics that this is, you know. Yeah, but the person at the top of the ticket was found liable for sexual abuse. So, like, you know, like, so, of course. Um, and not that, like, obvious, I'm not saying that using a porn site and being found liable for sexual abuse are comparable. I'm just saying that, like, that's that's the standard now. So um, the other thing I would say is that while you're correct that he 
denied these these the the, the comments in the CNN report. <clears throat> There are other comments like saying, why are we paying so much attention to uh, implying that we spent too much attention talking about Hitler uh, when Hitler is dead and George Soros, the Jewish Hungarian born billionaire philanthropist is alive and that Nazis aren't a real threat. It's Marxism. Um, Those were made on his Facebook and those posts are still up. Right. So so and, and, and can't be denied because he's repeatedly repeatedly under his own name on his own Facebook made comments saying that we spend too much time talking about the Holocaust. So like, so actually the crux of it can't be denied because you said it with your full chest under your own name and people knew that and endorsed you anyway. And now are pretending that this is somehow like that. This is somehow the moral bridge too far. Anyway, that's Mark Robinson. We wish good luck to the people of North Carolina in the, uh, the upcoming election because he actually did not drop out. He decided, no, I'm, I'm staying in. I'm going to be the gubernatorial candidate. So 